Hello everybody, welcome back to my video Angga Rizky and in this video I just want to show you how to create the shopping cart using a bootstrap framework and in this case we will create a shopping cart using a table from bootstrap framework okay the basic things you need to do is only install the bootstrap framework and I have prepared the product image right here this is for sample image for product okay guys so you can prepare it for yourself and install the bootstrap framework you can watch my another video to install the bootstrap framework okay so in the next step you must prepare the image product okay guys so we going to bootstrap documentation and I will using the border table from bootstrap framework we copy this and going to your editor in this case i'm using the sublime text editor okay so i will create the div class container and inside of container i need the I need the row right here okay and next we can create the column for our table inside the class of row well okay this column I will use to create the header title for shopping cart I'm using the header to my shopping list okay and then we just need to create the column again call MD 12 for our table right here okay then we save it after that we create the table hits for the title its table and then we just need table row and table column and class for table row okay and i will give the table column is for image and then name of product and price okay so you can add for quantity okay well as if it then I will pre I will preview it into my browser like this my shopping list and this is for image name of product price and quantity okay guys so we just going to sublime again and copy the table head and change the table head into table body and then you can give the image right here image product png okay we save it then preview we got it because the image is uh, has a big size so we need to resize it using the attribute heads okay we save it then preview again okay this is the sample image oh well i will make it to be center okay like this and I will setting the image like this okay and now we next to create the name of product price and quantity okay but before we create that we just need to add the margin right here of the below my shopping list okay so I'm going to hit it too and give the style margin bottom 30 pixel 
like this okay now I will give the name is DVD web design the price is around like this and the quantity is 13 we save it then preview again okay we get we get it guys so the quantity it shall be small with okay I'm going to quantity change the width and give the width is 40 okay sorry it's not enough I'm going to 60 I'm going to 80 okay it's enough guys and then I want to make this content middle of table so I'm going to TD and style and vertical line to be middle then you can copy this style and paste into your into your price and then into your quantity save it then preview okay well we have the content with a center of table and middle of table okay the next year step is only copy this gr we save it then preview like this guys okay it's easy using a bootstrap framework it's easy for you because you can develop your website uh, more than fast and more than easy well we have the good cop we have the good document the good documentation from here you can read the documentation okay so next we just need to create a button for checkout and we create the button for back to shopping okay well I'm going to bootstrap and going to top and we need to using the but button from bootstrap framework okay well I'm going to button groups oh uh, well we need to button okay like this this is for drop down now I just want to make my button we going back to sublime and we click right here and you can help like this okay and create the column again and inside the column you must create the button sorry you must create the diff class pull right and inside the pull right you create the button using the anchor href and the class is btn btn success going to check out save and preview okay we have the checkout button right here and uh, next we create the button for back to shopping okay well i just want to copy this anchor link and remove the btn success and change the checkout to be back to shopping we save it then preview okay like this case okay it's easy right and I'm going to my shopping list and give the margin top to be actually okay like this it's easy of course guys you can using the bootstrap easy easy okay guys so I hope you can understand my tutorial and if you have a question please let me know and don't forget to subscribe me okay well nice to meet you from Indonesia Angga Rizky see you the next tutorial guys